So I brought my patient back in for a post-op. She had laser-assisted periotherapy six weeks ago. Um, she her, her periodontal concern was uh, trichomonads and spirochetes. And we know from McGlossy and McDonald's work that uh, spirochetes are bad systemically, especially um, for uh, dementia and, um, of course, all the things that we know, periodontally speaking, from um, uh, the dental literature. Uh, spirochetes are not supposed to be in your mouth. And so basically, there are over 50 different views of this one plaque sample that we took from our patient. The plaque sample was taken on the distal lingual of number 31, uh, a couple of epithelial cells here uh, that we're looking at, but uh, I really don't see anything spinning or twirling that looks like a spirochete. A few little bacterium uh, looks like brownie in motion, uh, a couple of white blood cells, uh, red blood cell there, but I don't see any trichomonads or spirochetes. So the uh, patient is maintaining well with baking soda, a water pick, and an electric toothbrush. So our patient looks like she's doing what she's supposed to be doing because I'm not seeing any evidence of recolonization of the pathogenic bacteria. One of the nice things about having this type of technology in your office is it's easy to confirm if the bacteria are truly gone or not. What we're looking at is phase contrast microscope from Auratech to help us identify anything. Um, and this is at 400 power. Some more epithelial cells. White blood cell there. The laser I used was a CO2 laser um, from Light Scalpel, made in Washington. More epithelial cells here. Again, just I'm not seeing a lot of bacteria at all, which is good. Uh, it lends credence that we changed the oral environment. Thank you for watching.